bucket. And Notre Dame will go to the line with now a six point lead. Top of the key. 11 seconds of the shot clock. Martin back to Atkins. 10, 9, 8 on the shot clock. Atkins foul line jumper on the way. Oh! Good! Good! And the Irish lead again. 65 63 with 14.5 seconds left. Puck back, left point, Marshall, fan on the clearing attempt, Sheehan has it, another breakaway, Riley over the line, skates to the middle, shoots, scores! Sheehan shorthanded goal, 3-1 Notre Dame, 2.07 to go in the second period as Sheehan took it away from Marshall, skated down the ice, and he rips it over the glove of Patterson. Novacell has the ball taken away. Oh, and what a great play by Diggins. Got the ball over to the shooter. Hartley. Taken by uh, Skyler Diggins inside court. And that team foul difference is really huge at, huge at this juncture. Diggins hangs a three. Notre Dame takes the lead 57 to 55 over the mid-court stripe. Atkins now between the circles. Atkins into the paint, loses the dribble. Maybe try to do a little bit too much there. Now it's knocked away from Siva Martin to the floor, to Atkins ahead, to Grant for three. Got it! A huge basket by Jaron Grant, and we've got a one-point game. You can work in the clock, inside two minutes to play. Steele, up court, with the breakaway, Mallory. Two-point game, UConn. Notre Dame basketball, steal and go, steal and go. The shot clock. Martin will inbound in the corner, Atkins. Atkins up top, 19 in the shot clock. Atkins around the screen. Atkins up top to Martin. Martin back to Atkins, fakes the three. Now he takes it, it is good! And we are tied at 50 with 26.3 seconds left. Five, four, Siva around the screen. Siva drives the lane, and a charge is called on Siva as Jack, no, it was Scott Martin, set his feet and took the punishment. Game clock and shot clock. Third time, she's got to come behind this game. Big play by the sophomore, Kayla McBride, as she ties the game at 63 all, and at the end of 40 minutes, we might not be done. Pressure by the Huskies. Here comes Novacell, she'll be the shooter. Novacell puts it up, we got overtime. McBride takes the tip, so the Irish start overtime with the first possession. Atkins, dribbling to his left, gets it to Grant. Grant, left foul line extended. Grant, top of the key, three. Oh! Yes, yes, yes! And the Irish lead, 57-54, with 109 remaining.
65-63 with 14.5 seconds left. Louisville does have a timeout. Siva over the record strike. Siva drives left side of the lane. His shot is blocked into the hands of Atkins. And Atkins is fouled. Atkins free throw on the way. Two Got possession it. game, baby, as Atkins knocks it down. 67-63. Here comes Siva. Siva bounces it to Russ Smith for three. It is no good. Oh! The buzzer, but it doesn't matter. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame have come into the Yum Center and defeated the 10th ranked Louisville Cardinals. 67-65. Go! Here we go! Did we figure ourselves out today? What a great win. And you know what? We had the body language. I was telling you in the early media timeouts in the first half. We looked completely different than we looked at Cincinnati. We looked like we were ready to go for it. And that's our concentration and preparation and bouncing back after a tough night. You know, to win here in this atmosphere, that was fun, wasn't it? And we had a swagger about us. I mean, we had them on our heels the whole way. Really great job controlling the tempo. Like, we controlled the tempo as a team, but Eric, unbelievable job quarterback oh, us yeah. for all 50 guys. Yeah, shit, yeah. Eric. Really good. Really good. And then defensively, we did a hell of a job on the ball screen. You know, Scott, Jack, we're in there. Jaron, make it. Everybody in there made big plays for us today. That's a total team win. And uh, we've talked about reference points in a season. Second half of Pittsburgh. This is a great one for us and our identity. Great win. Proud of you. Pr you know, proud to be your coach today. And what? You know what? You know what? One lot of coaches. It was cruise control today. No, I'm serious. You guys were running stuff. We get some guys in the game. I'm serious. When we're flowing, and those teams, my teams have always been like that. We get to the point we got ownership of ourselves. You guys are leading. You're doing a hell of a job. Great win, baby. Let's build on it. Let's yeah. be greedy. Baby. Let's be greedy. Let's yes. our heads. Father, thank you for helping us play together as a unit and keeping us away from injury. Through your name we pray. Amen. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Great win, Robbie Russo, three power play goals this year to Tynan. Left face off circle shot, blocked, rolls in front, rebound, scores! TJ Tynan with 2.06 to go in the first, scores a power play goal. Welcome back from Alberta, TJ Tynan, one nothing Notre Dame. Puck near the blue line, kept in by the Irish, good play, Lorenz. Tynan, fans right side, a quick shot, scores! Shayan! Riley Sheehan, a one-timer off the feed from Tynan. Sheehan snuck it just inside the left goal post. Power play goal number two for the Irish tonight. It's 2-1 Notre Dame with 5.29 to go in the second. Puck back, left point, Marshall, fan on the clearing tip. Sheehan has it. Another breakaway. Riley over the line, skates to the middle, shoots, scores! Sheehan shorthanded goal. 3-1 Notre Dame. 2.07 to go in the second period as Sheehan took it away from Marshall, skated down the ice, and he rips it over the glove of Patterson. There's the draw. Sheehan kicks it to Costello. Skates toward the middle. Shoots. Scores! Wrist shot. Jeff Costello. A goal in three straight games for the sophomore. And a little insurance for the Irish here in Minneapolis. It's 4-1 Notre Dame with 6.16 to go in regulation time. He, he outraced them. They fight to the finish to the Gophers, but it's the Fighting Irish pulling off the big road win here in Minnesota.